Well, when we get... What was that? Dear Boston, <laughs> what the hell you were doing there? Get back on that train and just go. She disappeared underneath and <laughs> went to the Shadow Realm. Well, good morning, folks. It's Sunday. You know what that means. Welcome along to Trains in World 4. Weekend coming to an end, but we're going to send it off in style because we've got a brand new toy to play with on the Boston Sprinter. So, without further ado, let's go to the Boston Sprinter route, shall we? And the new toy is the Amtrak Acela. And we're going to do scenario number two. The lines have been cleared for a really long stretch of the legs and get up to speed in the Acela. So grab your ticket again, line, shelve them here as well to have some fun. We're going to Boston. Hey, taxi! Ha! <laughs> it is time. The line ahead is clear for you all the way to Boston. Use the opportunity to reach top speed quickly. Well, that is because we have a new toy. It's the route everyone rates, waits for every rotation round. It is the Boston Sprinter. And look at this impressive new toy. Well, when we get... What was that? Dear Boston, <laughs> what the hell you were doing there? Get back on that train and just go. She disappeared underneath and <laughs> went to the Shadow Realm. What was that? What was that? I can't believe we had that guy in early. I, I know, I, I can't believe we had him in early either. But yes, welcome to the Acela Express unit. Oh, yes, absolutely, sir. Absolutely, I'll sort that out uh, in a moment. But uh, this is my first time using this, so... Bear with me. And what have we got? Uh, we have got an express run to Boston. No, about the train. Oh, it's the first generation Acela Express. It's it's basically the first gen. That one. Yes. I believe it's uh that one. Yes, that is the one. Uh. Keep an eye out for all the rail fans and give them the horn as you go through the station. Well, I know there's one here because, look, they're right there with their yeah. mobile phones out. And uh... But hang on. Uh, go on then, hang on. Because this test run happened in the 90s, is it? I think so, yes. Because when did, when did they enter service? I don't know, you tell me, you're the knowledgeable one. 2000. 2000, yes. Were mobile phones not like this then? No, I think mobile phones were something like Paul Heyman used to use when he smacked them up beside someone's head. I think this that's the fun now. Well, no, they didn't have cameras back then, but they had mobile phones because they were like, like the flip ones. Yeah, they were like the flip ones, so probably were proper uh, cameras uh, that they've got uh, out there. By the way, vidIQ, just for clarification, we can't make that any bigger because that was a wide shot of the whole thing. Just for clarification. But yes, our brand new toy. We got it in the Christmas sale. This yeah. is this is my first time driving it as well. Whoops. What? You just jumped. Did we jump? Yeah, you know where there's a passing train comes in, the camera just jumped. Oh right, yeah, that. The oh that, yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's that that's uh, that's no problem there. And uh yeah. We're going to just... Well, we're going to look at the track first. That's uh, that's what we're going to do. Because uh, I'm pretty sure that the track here at Boston... It, well, actually, that's Providence we were at. Although the uh, phones back there were like fucking... You are like... Yeah, those... Teachy uh, mods or something like that. Yeah, what you used to play... They were like them uh, handheld bricks, weren't they? Yeah. I remember... Uh, there was having... no cameras on there at the time. But they were they're pretty poor. They were, they were piss poor, weren't they? Who, who had a phone back in the 2000s? <laughs> Everyone did. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I want to see how this goes because 
obviously now that we got these routes, because the Boston Sprinter route was about to die at its sword, and then up comes the old Christmas sale, have an Acela! And we said, thank you very much, three more rotations of Boston Sprinter. <laughs> yes. And uh, of course, Sheldon was all like, yes, please, give me more, give me more, give me more, because I want to roast the people of Boston. Because he is a perennial uh, Boston uh, roaster. It's just the Boston gag now, is it? it? It's the it's the running gag now, isn't it? When we come to Boston, it's the it's the running gag. Dear Boston, we like the running gag. You don't like the running. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and then I fuck it up each time. Uh, hold on a second. Let let me uh, let me massage his throat. Uh, get him better. If you uh, wouldn't mind uh, bending your head back, please, sir. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm simple. I, I'm not gonna ch- I'm not gonna choke you. Not against you. Not against your will, anyway. <laughs> no, I don't trust you. <laughs> you don't trust me. No. Give, give me, give me. I will massage your throat. <laughs> no, he's gonna go a bit lower than that. He's gonna go right there. <laughs> <laughs> you can fuck off. Uh, we can go even lower if you like. <laughs> Zero's all going to be all over this. Oh, our hands are going lower, are they? Uh, right then, let's. Uh, <laughs> uh, we just passed. Uh, I think we just passed Poor Tucket uh, Yard uh, there, which is good. And this Aceler is still creeping, as we would say. It's not got up to its uh, full max speed, not max potential yet. We're just easing it in. We're just, we're just letting it. Uh, we're we're getting used to it. It is getting used to us. It's how uh, how it. I, I think be. I could do it this time. Now. Oh, he can, he can do it. If he doesn't do it this time, he's going to hand around his throat. I'm going to choke his chicken. <laughs> Dear Boston, we like the gag. If you don't like the gag, just go to hell. I'm going to eat my subway sandwich. Why say go to hell? Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, we'll, we'll let you. Uh, we'll let you have that one. I just didn't want to mess that up. <laughs> you really didn't want to mess that up. Uh, un- unlike it to uh, Christmas, dear Tico Sprinter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have been waiting for this my whole life. <laughs> that was brilliant. That was brilliant. Those no, dear Boston. Fuck <laughs> yeah, dear Boston. Fuck off. <laughs> Oh dear me! All right, can we get up to eighty yet? It's not late. No, I think we gotta go back to sixty. Ugh. I thought this was supposed to be an Aceler Express, not an Aceler that go as fast as lines permitted you to go. Mind you, the one thing about this train it is a tilter. Look at this. Can you see the the prominent yeah. tilt? She she be a tilter. Of course, you can disable the tilting mechanism on this thing. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> no. Mark, uh, one of our brothers did do that, uh, disable the tilting mechanism. Uh, the results were brilliant at 110 miles an hour. <laughs> they did crash the train, did they? Uh, yeah, unfortunately, they did. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear, absolutely. What else have we got up here? What have we got up here? we got uh, a few more buttons up there. Believe it or not... We're not searching for a cab light, are we? Tico would never let us... I'm pretty sure we've always wished it on. Not that you need the cab light for this, uh... It's all, I'll, um, show you something. Oh, he's going to show me an open time train to do something. No. No, what's he going to show me? He... Ah, it's a German! Uh. German ice high-speed train in America for Amtrak. What?! That looks like it barely fits. She be a white boy, didn't she? Yeah. Because back in 1993, ah, there went uh, the uh, Amtrak um, loco hall there. Bloody, what are these, Simon? What are those graphics on that TV monitor? There, this Union Station, Washington, ICE Metro Liner. Ice train tours North America. And that's a DB class 401. That's a 401 that's uh, come in specially. you got all these... Uh, is, has it got the loco hall, the Amtrak loco hall? Is it the full ice rake here? 
don't know how many coaches they had, but is that a German guy behind the wheel? Basically, he took an Amtrak ICE yeah. and toured it around America. Nice! So it went to Baltimore. So uh, I assume. One would uh, assume then. It. Um, but they also. Amtrak's it. ice train, next stop, New Carrollton. I think that's how you uh, pronounce that, isn't it? Look at that! That's not uh, a rail phone booth. A phone booth? That's the saloon car, I, I, the IC Bistro, yeah. Yeah, the Bistro car. Bistro car. No food. Yeah. Wow, that is. And this was 1993. 93, 100. We can't show you it. We, yeah, we can't show you it for copyright reasons. But definitely. Uh, the World Trade Towers as well. So I assume it went into New York Grand Sa Central. Would it have gone into Grand Central? Oh, that's the end of the video. That's the end of the video, okay. Would that have gone into Grand Central then, from Washington? It's possible. Or would it have gone into Penn? I think it could be Penn. Yeah, it could be either, either or. Either one. Because you can get from... Penn Station on the Northeast Corridor, New York, Trenton. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be on the way. But I think they had an ice train over there to test it for like high speed trains in America. Yes. And well, that's what we have here, the Acer. Yeah. That's the, that, the result of that is what we have right here, the Acer, which is now, now that we've got line speed of 160 miles an hour, and now we're stretching this thing's legs out. This thing is being stretched and it is being contorted as well. We've got, we've got a leg up behind the neck. We've got an arm over down yeah. behind the back. Some weird sex position, position. How do you know about that weird sex position? I didn't teach that one to anyone. Yeah, come on you. How do you know about that? I'm taking a wild guess. You're taking a wild guess? Yeah. Yeah, you've been watching that uh, Karma Sutra sex tape again, haven't you? <laughs> Oh dear me! Four tracks. We're up at 133 kilometers, miles an hour, and climbing. This thing is stretching. But no, it was um, like at one point on the west coast bay. Like Look at it go! That is speedy. That is speed. You don't get that at the local. The the uh, the ACS 64. Well, it was like on the west coast bay. Like they actually tried the, the class 91 on there. Yeah. It's like. Uh, Probably about a decade ago, they trialed the uh, Pedalinos on the East Coast Bay Line. They did. Because everyone thought that that was going to be the way that they were going to go. But no, they went uh, They went with Kurt Zuma. They went with the, uh, the Zoomers. They went with the Zoomers, and I think uh, for LDR that worked out nicely. I Honestly, that worked out uh, very nicely, considering the variance that... Um, yeah, it worked out very nicely. Then they decided to fuck themselves with the tickets. Yeah, considering the variants that um, they came out with, uh, I, I consider the uh, the Azuma a very much a, a success. More than the um... <clears throat> well, to be fair, when um, they went to Azuma, everyone else followed suit. Apart from Grand Central, who is still sticking with the one eighties. Well. And a couple of voyages now. And a couple of voyages. What they need to give up the one eighties, or maybe they're just not in a position to uh, finance some zoom or something. Probably not. Are are they seriously going to wait for? You got to think also because the pandemic didn't help because they were suspended their services left, right, and centre, weren't they? But I think Hall Trades had. The 802's planned in when it happened. Yeah, I I think you're right on the, on that. But I do seriously think we're going to get to a step point in the uh, not too distant future where before the East Coast mainline was dominated by 91's HSTs and 180's, it's going to be dominated by Azumas and IETs, no problem. Azubas, 
Yeah, the Hitachi brand. Yeah, the Hitachi is going to dominate the. Um... But then, you got those Tribo calf trains. Oh, that are going to replace the uh, the ninety one. Yeah. And that that will be a sad day when the ninety ones uh, do finally go. Oh yeah, go. definitely, definitely go. As long as I would say one is preserved. One is preserved. Bonus. For for rail tour purposes, I mean. We, we all know which one it's going to be as locomotive well. Locomotive services. Yeah, locomotive services are going to do it. And we all know which 91 it's going to be as well. Well, 110, 111 are preserved. 110 and 111 for preservation. are destined for a museum. If they take one, I think it'd be 119. It's going to be 119. What I would do is, if uh, Mr. Hoskins was smart about it, take 119 and... A Mark IV stock, yeah, and then put it into proper intercity livery. Not not the makeshift. Don't get me wrong. The makeshift uh, Mark IV livery that they've yeah. got on looks great. The modern the heritage. The modern the heritage. But I really think a ninety one in the intercity livery would go in the full intercity livery will go down very nicely. And I wouldn't be surprised if Transport for Wales buys some more Mark IV coaches. You wouldn't be surprised at all. You wouldn't be surprised at all they just have to find the trait what i would do if they do that then is put for more coaches on yeah put put more coaches on ditch off the first class coaches because no one wants them no i don't think they will because they're bringing this like standard premium kind of thing to the one night sevens that's destined to fail from the very start i can tell you that now I, I can tell you that now. That's do, doomed to fail from the very start. It, it that That's going to be a failure. And then just give it a year. Declassified. Declassified. Back to standard one. That is doomed to fail. Unless those three cars are going to run around with another set. So we always make two threes or a three and a two. Yeah. That is doomed to fail from the start. I promise you this. Because it's like, they yeah, got the space. They're Trump. struggling on at the moment already with the 158 as a double. Right? What the hell is going to happen when they have a free car 197? But wait! The only regular passengers could use two of those cars and not the other car. We all know what direction this is going to go. I don't know how that's going to work. I wonder if it's going to be like a 170 kind of first class, like a big compact area. Maybe it will. Maybe it, maybe that's how it'll work. And uh, so most of the train will be standard class with a little first class on it. With a little first class, yeah. But I've got a feeling the whole they're going to do um, uh, who'd you call it? Who, who'd you call them up um, up north with the 185s, Transpeno? They're going to have a whole coach designated for. First class slash standard premium. It's more like <coughs> a, it's not a first class they're offering. It's more like a they'll upgrade, but it's not first class. Yeah, but then again, they've got fifty two cars, right? Fifty two cars. Yeah, and they're going to have at least how how many free cars as well. There should be no discrepancy about. Plus, why are they all doing two cars anyway? Excellent question. Excellent question. See, London North West, see, West Midlands r trains, as much crap as we give them, right? And you will find no... That bridge is not finished. That phone even that recognised that bridge was not finished. Um, what does it say? Yeah. As much crap as I give them, and I'm a person that will give them crap when it is absolutely due and necessary they did absolutely right by ordering four car 196s yes because that essentially takes two turbos off a shrewsbury and a hereford bump yes thank you very much and then the two cars can just bolster up together off you go you're laughing or we'll use the two cars on Nuneaton to Leamington. Exactly. They did that absolutely right. Northern, in a way, yes, the 195 free 
three car variants. They replaced the uh, two car pacers and also uh, 150, some 150s as well. Yeah. But primarily, kind of, yeah. primarily the pacers. So to bring them in as two car and three car variants and the three free freeze as well to bring them in as three car variants. And four car variants. And four car variants. Fantastic. Job done. Nice one. But Transport for Wales have got this wrong. They are essentially replacing three car 175s and two car 175s and two car 158s and two car 150s and two car pacers. And a 153. And a 153 with essentially, in some cases, ma masses and masses of two cars and a first class area that no one needs in Transport for Wales. Because the only thing for Transport for Wales has first class are the loco halls, <coughs> and even then at four coaches with pl which includes the first class coach. That is a stretch. It didn't help with that thing they put on as well. What? You know, for their uh, catering. Yeah. Doesn't help. Really doesn't uh, help. Uh, where was I going? With that? Oh yes. That's not, you should have ordered four cars. You it, should have ordered four. If you're going to put that in for catering, it should be three or four max. Exactly. If you're going to put catering in, on the, certainly the local hall, they've got to be four, five, six coaches long, like Chilton do. Chilton, how ironic though is it, Transport Wells and Chilton, owned by the same company. Yeah. And yet Chilton have got it right and uh, Transport Wells are going it massively Chilton wrong. get it right but they get shit on massively. Yeah. It's not their fault 95% of the time. It really isn't uh, their fault I would say. But then Transport for Wales do this and they get shit on less. Yeah. They get absolutely trashed well, on less. I think they're starting to really see that with the... They are. They are and... Quite frankly, they need to figure it out. This is why I'm hoping, because we're still awaiting the rumoured cross-country calf order that's going to essentially replace the Turbo Stars on the Peterborough... Oh, sorry, the Stansted Express route. They've got to be three or four coaches. They have to be four. They have to be four. Four. And I think they were going to be one nine eights anyway, and they've got to be four. If you come out with three cars, you're you're asking for trouble. You are asking for trouble. From the word go. Well, mind you, though, they'd be a bit longer, so three car may just be all right, but definitely a four car. Definitely a four. I think a four mm. for that network, considering some of the stations on that route can take up to five cars. Or well, what they need is longer trades for their longer distance routes. <coughs> yes. Because four or five coaches is not good enough. Well, this is why the rumour is cross-country again an IET order. If cross-country came out right now and said, OK, look, we've messed up here. OK, so here's what we'll do. We're going to get an order of IETs in. And these IETs... Some will be five car, but most will be nine car. And those nine cars you can find on our Scottish Anglo Scotland run. Yeah. And they say the five cars, okay, yeah, they're for Piccadilly, uh, Bournemouth, Newcastle to Reading, etc. But it's better than the four car. I think a nine car should be the Anglo Scotland route and Anglo the Bournemouth. No, I, I'm going to no, I'm going to stick up for them here. I'm going to stick up for them here. This is this is this is a rare in uh, L here. Mm. Definitely, the Anglo Scotland trade should be nine cars. Definitely, or even if they go for a seven car variant, like a seven um, would be better. A seven car variant, like um, who who have gone for a seven car? Avanti. Avanti, that's it. And uh, haven't uh, EMR gone for seven as well? No, five. Five. I thought today went for a seven. No, they went for a five. They went for a five. Okay, well, it could work for uh, EMR. Depends on how many they have. Well, they've got to have a lot then. Yeah, they've got to have a lot. That's uh, that's their problem. Unless they're planning on running them side by side with the Merid Meridians. I think mean, they're planning to get rid of the Meridians, but... And, and the, their home is 
well, yet to be determined. Egg would say cross country, but it, I don't think so. No, cross country have already committed to getting new trains. They've already committed to getting new, cleaner era trains. So we know they're looking <clears> at IETs. They've got, if they're not looking at IETs, they need to look elsewhere and look elsewhere pretty darn quickly. <coughs> but but then you got to think, because they're going to have an extra service soon. Cross well, country. Not an extra service, but they're going to need an extra unit for it. Yes, they are. And that's that Edinburgh Glatt Cardiff, isn't it? Yeah. Even though that's just going to be bolted on to another service, so it'd be Cardiff and something to Edinburgh. Yeah. And then it'd be Edinburgh to Cardiff and Oh, no, it's going to be that uh, V66 run, isn't it? That goes Edinburgh, oh yeah, Gloucester. Edinburgh to Plymouth, but splits at Gloucester. Yeah. So in essence, it doesn't it doesn't do much there, does it? Because I assume that Voyager will continue on down to Cardiff via Lydney and all that. Yeah. And um, the Plymouth train will just carry on to Plymouth. So it'll be an Edinburgh to Cardiff and Plymouth. Yes, Cardiff and Plymouth. That. Well, that is my understanding on how it. Um... No, I think what's that one actually? They were going to split. Yeah. And could do. Instead of sending empty stock back, they're going to extend it to Cardiff. And then... That the unit be staying at Cardiff overnight, and then probably next day come back to do the Cardiff to Gloucester part, and then bolt it on. Wait for something else that goes to uh, Gloucester early in the morning. Anyway, we, we've been... But no, it's, we'll, I'll stick up for cross-country, then we'll get on to trains with Sheldon uh, before I uh, forget, because we may um, have to do a, a rush trains with Sheldon. I hope we don't, but uh, we may do. But what um, I'm saying here is, right, do I think that the Bournemouth, five cars for Bournemouth is enough? Yeah, I think it is just about enough. Do I think it could do an upgrade? Yes, it will definitely need an upgrade as well. If you're going to upgrade Anglo-Scotland, you may as well upgrade Manchester to Bournemouth. That's two of your primo routes. Yes. But certainly the four cars need to go unless unless they're about to pull an absolute massive w here get these buy modes right i have to work with the voyages have them work with the voyages and the meridians so in other words they can finally <clears> say <throat> right we've got our seven car um ieds here's some extra coaches for the uh, manchester bournemouth yeah so double them up to eight perhaps but then if they do that they've got to have enough staff to do it because they can't turn up at manchester oh no the back unit's locked sorry i say tough i say tough sorry it's here as um if you can't work both trades that's that's a you problem that's not a does problem because the coaches are there and you're deciding not to the coaches are there it has been advertised on the boards here as eight coaches so eight coaches should be available Unless there is a serious fault with that unit. Well, if there is a serious fault with that unit, it shouldn't be here to start with. But unless there's a fault with that unit, it should be in operation and unlocked. Just because you can't get into that coach to uh, check tickets or whatnot, that's not an excuse to lock it out. No. Or you, or you do what ScotRail do. When they bolt the two turbos together. They get out of one and go in the other. Yeah. That's how you do it. But some people... Uh, can't be asked. Can't be asked. But uh, one thing that we can definitely be asked about as we come into uh, Boston Back Bay is uh, doing everyone's favourite segment. And that, that segment, ladies and gentlemen, is... Trades with Sheldon! So the first generation of Se Salia Express train set is a unique set of vehicles used on the ATA and track flagship high-speed service along the Northeast Corridor in the North Eastern United States. So these are built by Bombardier Alstom, constructed in 1998-2001 and entered service in 2000. There's only 20 sets built and 20 sets in service. <coughs> Formation of 8 cars, 2 power cars, 6 coaches. Fleet number starts from 2000 to 2039 on the power cars. Um, the capacity is 304, 44 first class, 260 business class. So 
So what standard class then? I don't think there is a standard class. Okay. No, because it's 44 first class and 260 business class. Okay. So basically, these, these trains are built for the business market, not for standard commuter trains. Gotcha. Like the Blue Pullman. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, depot is Ivy City, Washington, D.C., Sunnyside Yards, Queens, New York, and Southampton Street Yard in Boston. Yep. Um, <clears throat> they have a max speed of 165 miles per hour, or 266 kilometers per hour. That's what they were designed for, but in service, it's 150 miles per hour, 240 kilometers kilometers per hour I think we got ours up to 260 for 160 yeah. anyway the Italian sets were based on the TGV equipment the power cars and the passenger cars are much heavier in order to meet the Federal Railroad Administration crash standards mm-hmm so basically like TGVs but they're not a bit more heavier because of um, some standards yeah the extra weight leads to the Celia uh, power to weight ratio being about 22.4 HP horsepower no, per ton compared to the 30.8 on a SNCF TGV train set so Bombardier later used the Acelia carriage design as a diesel gas turbine variant of the power car for its experimental jet train uh, the present Aceli Express equipment is scheduled to be replaced by the new Avia Liberty sets beginning in 2024. The new trains have greater passenger capacity and an enhanced active tilt system which allow faster speeds on many curves. Are those, those, um, yeah. Yeah, those are them. So they are getting replaced Aceli, sometime soon. They are, yes. Absolutely they are getting, uh, Replace sometimes soon, huh? Eh. What hair? Yeah, hair on my uh, tongue. But uh, here we are, folks. We've uh, arrived, and I think we're going to be arriving about a few minutes early as we arrive into uh, Boston South Station. Uh, if you, uh, if we haven't shown it already, on your left is that uh, warship that um, is here. The warship. Yeah, the warship, you know, the, the um, mastery, mastery, the mastery level. <clears throat> Speaking of, we didn't um, talk about the mastery level for um, the uh, Benino line. No, we didn't. That is the actually the only reason. Oh, there's Relfam right there. He's happy. The only reason you would buy look, it. Look at this guy. Ooh, what's he got there? I don't know what he's got, but he's happy with it. He, he, oh yeah, because it's a flying cow, is it? It's, it's, it's a flying cow. That's the only reason I'm getting it, so I can get the uh, the flying cow. So uh, perhaps if we're going into a station, you can see a cow flying uh, over the line. <clears throat> but no, um, because cows up in that area get sick a lot of the time, they they have to helicopter the cows to the vet, to the nearest vet. So um, that's what the mastery is: a helicopter flying a cow over a mountain. And that will be hilarious to see. I hope we get that. Watch this. It'd be a cow they'd be flying, but it'd be a Lego cow. It'd because, be a Lego cow. It'd just be all blocky. <laughs> it'd be a Lego cow. Oh, wouldn't it just be hilarious if it actually was legitimately a Lego cow? Oh, oh. that would that would be hilarious, I tell you. Absolutely hilarious. But uh, here we are. Just going to... Uh, Crawl it in. Yes, we're sounding the bell. I know, I know. And we'll call that absolutely on the nose. We got 666 action points for that there. A lot. Uh, no, no, 666, sign of the devil. We're in Boston. Ah. Look at this. That woman's pleased to be uh, over here seeing it. Isn't she? Massively. She looks uh, absolutely pleased. I'd love to get a thumbnail because I can see... One of the Boston um, MBTA liveries over here. And oh I can, yeah, I did see you try and get this. And uh, I can also see on the other far side, I can see an Acer uh, Amtrak ACS 64. 
I'm just wondering if we can get all three in the same shot. Doubtful. But You'd be disappointed. I'd probably be disappointed, yes. I probably uh, would be massively disappointed. Still, there it is. 629. And there's the, the MBTA. We can give it a go. I mean, if we went to the other side of the MBTA and shot through the platforms, I guarantee we get them all. Yeah. But I don't think we get them all head on, which is... Uh... Oh, no, because I know what happens here. But... You can see, look, look at that. All three tractions here on the Boston Sprint. Go for it. Let's go for it. No, you can't look. You can't go further than that, which means that's out of the equation. So you can't get that in the shot. So let's try the other side, and it's going to tell me, nope, you can't go further than there. Although, to be fair, I mean, you could probably uh, get them all in the same shot. Just the passengers are in the way. Yeah. That's the uh, that's the problem, unfortunately. It is uh, the big problem, so we'll just shut the bell up because uh, the bell's been going all this time. It's ding, 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 but, ding. No, it's dong, dong, dong. It's like who the bells for whom the bell tolls. Well, we know who the bell tolls for. It tolls for absolutely nobody. It tolls for nobody. Oh. Okay, that's the end of the scenario. <laughs> Just like that, end of the scenario. At least we got the gold. Yeah, at least we got the gold. That's uh, that's something. And we're going to continue our American theme next Saturday by going to Cane Creek. Okay. It's an hour and 20 minutes long. That's a lot. That's a lot. But, you know, it is what it is. got to do it. Got to do what we got to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Got, got to do what we got to do. Got to do it. Got to do it. So, uh, yeah, thank you all. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next Saturday for Cane Creek. Um, cause I think we do a different uh, train next week. But, um, yeah, we'll leave Sheldon with uh, with the last word. Right, I'm off for a Subway sandwich. Off you go, then. <laughs>